This week, our phonics readers will focus on finding words with the ed ending and the ing ending. Notice when you add the ed ending, you if the letter had an if the word had an e at the end, you drop the e and add a double consonant. If you add ed to the word, you can also make a double consonant, as in the word dotted and dabbed. I am also going to be sorting our words, the ed ending words and the ing ending words. You can do this on a whiteboard or a separate piece of paper. Nate dotted and dabbed. Put your finger on the word Nate. Nate traced a picture. Nate dropped the picture. Nate traced it again. Your turn. What words have the ed ending? Great. The word traced, dropped, and I see the word traced again. Let's add these to our list. In the word dropped, it ended in a consonant, so we have to make a double consonant when adding the ed ending. Dropped. Put your finger on the word Nate. Nate dotted and dabbed his picture with paint. Nate used a lot. Nate spilled it. Nate mopped it up. Your turn. Very good. What words do you see with the ed ending? Dotted, dabbed, used, spilled, and mopped. Let's add these to our list. I'm going to focus the camera here so that you guys can see a little bit better. Dotted, dabbed, used, spilled, mopped. Again, the words that end in consonant when adding the ed ending, you make a double consonant. Put your finger on the word Nate. Nate passed eight beads and string onto his pick. Nate pasted eight beads and string onto his picture. Then Nate stopped. Your turn. The word pasted is another word for glued. I see the word pasted and stopped. We can add those to our list. I may have to erase and squeeze them in up here. Nice job finding these words. Now we're on to the back. Nate gave Gran his picture. Gran liked it. Gran smiled and hugged Nate. Your turn. Liked, smiled, 
hugged. I'll put the word hugged right here. Liked and smiled. So if the word ends in E, you can just add the D. If you, the word ends in a consonant, you have to make it a double consonant. Let's read these words together. Pasted, stopped, traced, dropped, dotted, smiled, dabbed, used, hugged, spilled, liked, and mocked. Great job. Now we're going to read rising, shining, setting. We are looking for endings that have the I-N-G. We're looking for words that have the I-N-G ending. Put your finger on the word the. The sun is rising. Bees are humming. Birds are tapping for food. What words do you see with the I-N-G ending? Rising, humming, and tapping. Now, the same with an ED word. If the word ends with a consonant, you have to make it a double consonant to add the ing ending. If the word ends in E, you drop the E and add ing. It kind of rhymes. Drop the E at ing, as in the word rising. When you're adding ed, you're just adding an, a d. Okay, so we have the word rising, humming, and tapping. Put your finger on the word the. The sun is shining. Bugs are flipping and gliding. A mom is chasing her cub. Your turn. I see the word shining, flipping, gliding, and chasing. Shining, gliding, and chasing all end in the word in the letter E. So you drop the E at ing. The word flip ends in a consonant. So you make a double consonant and add ing. Shining, flipping, gliding, they're all verbs and chasing. Nice job. Next page. The sun is setting. Toads are hopping home. A hare is hiding in its hole. A hare is another word for a rabbit. Setting, hopping, Hiding. Setting, hopping, and hiding. Now we're on to the back. The moon is rising. Lots of animals are dozing. Owl is just now waking. Your turn. I see the word rising, dozing, and waking. We already had the word rising, so we can add the word dozing and waking. Now the 
look at all these words we found. Let's practice reading these words with the ing ending. Rising, humming, tapping, shining, flipping, gliding, chasing, setting, hopping, hiding, dozing, waking. Great job reading those words in the phonics reader. Remember, drop the E and add ing. Great job.